Hey guys, thanks for joining us this afternoon to watch this video and welcome if you've never watched any of our videos before. Today's video is to show you how we built our mobile chicken tractor, which we actually thought that we lost all the footage to this build. However, we were able to recover this one video from the GoPro, so that's good. Our mobile chicken tractor is loosely based off of Al from Lumina Acres um, mobile chicken tractor that he built, which we will post a link to his video down below so you can check that out. The purpose for our mobile chicken tractor is to put our meat birds, which are the Cornish, Cornish cross hens, <laughs> that's kind of hard to say, to put the, the birds in there. Um, and we'll move the tractor around the yard one to two times a day, depending on how well, you know, they're doing with the grass and bugs and everything else that they're eating in the area. Also, uh, it pretty much, it, I mean, it will make them pasture raised at that point. So they're just eating what whatever grass, bugs, um, and very minimal feed that we're giving them. So it definitely helps we know what's going into their body versus buying the chickens at the store. You don't know what they're pumped full of. So yeah, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Let us know in the comments what you think. And if you have not already, please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and share. Thanks guys, bye. Josh has the chicken tractor almost done. It is a six by six tractor. Um, looks like the size he did on the six foot pickets. He's making the roof an A frame where one of the sides will lift up so you can access the inside. It's pretty good. <laughs> Pretty sturdy. But still lightweight. Is it? Yeah. Oh. And it's going to have wheels on it um, when we're actually using it as the tractor. So uh, put some rope on one end, wheels on the other end. Just pick it up and move it every day. That's it. Cool. Let's go see how the chicks are doing. being very vocal this morning. Hi girls. Hey. You big mama jamma? What you got going on over here?
Yeah, so as Christy mentioned, the layout of the tractor is loosely built on um, a model done by Al over at Lumina Acres. We'll have a link to the video in our description below um, where he builds a $30 chicken tractor. So pretty neat. Check it out. Uh, great channel too. Um, so I built this one about 36 inches tall and uh, put the chicken wire on the inside and stapled it and um, added it uh, in the openings um, by the A-frame as well. But after having this um, out in the yard and seeing how Gunner reacts to it, I will end up adding a second layer of wire on the outside uh, just to help prevent um, anything from getting in there that way. You excited to go outside, buddy? Alright. He's excited to go try and see the little birds. A little chilly here in northern Illinois. Check on the birds. Gunner. Gunner. Hey. You be good to them. All right. Well, they're all looking healthy. I'm sure they're loving their new big home. Alright, it's time for you to go inside. Some more pine shavings down. Watch out, little well, birdies. Emma. Crowding one feeder when there's another one <laughs> over there. <sighs> These things are crazy. Oh, somebody's getting smart. There you go. Got a couple over there who just aren't interested in grub time. Not right now, anyway. Man, look at the size difference between the egg layer. Rhode Island Red and the meat bird on the right. Which is crazy, isn't it? Same age, about 20 days.
starting to get their feathers almost fully feathered. Another week or two, we'll start introducing them to the outside. Got to get the chicken coop built. Add the wheels to the chicken tractor and just a few short weeks we'll be having some fresh pasture raised chicken. Little baby Hope's doing really good. She joined her flock. Well guys, that wraps up another episode of Just Swinging a Homestead. I really appreciate you guys watching it, and I uh, hope you liked the little modified intro. I thought it was fun with uh, Stranger Things Season 3 just dropping, so threw that in there. But we'll hope to see you on the next, uh, next episode, and uh, if you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share.